Good morning, dear students. Health does not come from medicine. Most of the time, health comes from the peace of mind, heart and soul. It comes from laughter and love. So keep laughing and loving. Let us begin our class. Today we are going to learn about classification of plants. Classification of plants is essential because there are millions of plants the world in the world from the smallest bacteria to the biggest redwood tree. Plants can be classified on the basis of their shape and size, lifespan, habitat, presence or absence of flowers and mode of nutrition. We are going to learn about herbs, shrubs and trees. On the basis of their shape, size and lifespan, plants can be classified into herbs, shrubs and trees. Herbs. Plants with soft, not lignified, means non-woody, unbranched, green, perishable, short-lived, delicate stems without woody tissues are called herbs. Herbs are seed producing, non-woody and annual plants. Their stems are juicy or fleshy and weak. They have a single stem. They have delicate and thin tissue. They are generally smaller in size. That is they are not more than 1 meter in height. They are smaller than shrubs. They may live for one to two seasons. Herbs contain enough nutritional benefits including vitamins and minerals. They are valued for their medicinal and aromatic qualities. Aromatic means they are used for, arom for their aromas in food. They can be easily uprooted. For example, grass, wheat, maize, paddy or rice, mint, petunia, balsam are herbs. Now let us learn shrubs. Plants with woody, perpetual, branched, multi stems and branches of almost equal size arising from the stem near the ground immediately above the soil are called shrubs. They look like bushes. They are bushy. They are generally perennial. They are medium sized, less than 3 meters in height, but they are taller than herbs. They survive for many years. They are perennials. They are used in gardens for decorative purposes as they are more ornamental. They are evergreen and best against dust and noise. They have a strong tissue. They cannot be easily uprooted as herbs are. They play a major role in preventing water and soil erosion. They are a good source of fuel wood means wood used for commercial fuel, lumber, wood used for building materials, poles, wood used for building materials for support. Examples, jasmine, lemon, cotton, mendi, china rose, bougainvillea, pomegranate are some of the examples of shrubs. Now let us learn about trees. Tall and big plants are called trees. Trees are most advanced plants. They have one tall hard woody stem called trunk. They possess many woody branches, twigs and leaves at some distance above the ground. Their branches grow outwards and upwards. As green trees grow older, they produce more branches. They are generally surviving for many years. They are perennials. However, the coconut and palm trees do not possess branches, but they are tree. They prevent soil erosion. They maintain the 
carbon dioxide content of the air. These things are all about herbs, shrubs and trees. Examples, neem, mango, banyan, sal, teak. These are the some examples of trees. Thank you children.